Hi, we are Dirk and Jody Lewis. We are co-owners and operators of Shoemaker Pyro Shop. Yeah. Dirk here has made this fabulous pyro desk you see behind me, and I will turn it over to him to tell you more about his beautiful creation. Take it away. So when I first was starting to think about the pyro desk, the very first idea was to put it on a motorized stand-up base. I wanted to either sit down or stand uh, while working, and so that was number one. Um, so here we have it on setting number two, which is my sitting height, setting number one, which is the lowest, and standing height. So one important part of the pyro desk is I wanted durability and for it to be as sturdy as possible. Um, so I started out with solid three quarter inch black walnut for the frame. Uh, so all four sides are out of the, the walnut. I do have a bottom made out of Baltic birch plywood, three quarter inch as well. So together it's very, very sturdy and can handle a lot of weight. Another requirement was the drafting tabletop. The tabletop here is 24 inches by 24 inches square. It is made out of red oak plywood, three quarter inch, trimmed out with black walnut. I have it hinged on the front to the frame and then I have drafting table supports in the back. They're very heavy duty, can support up to 350 pounds. So that makes it very nice if I need to move it up or down. It can go up to 55 degrees and then all the way back down to flat. So the next requirement that I had was integrated lighting and recording because I didn't want to be setting this up all the time whenever I wanted to make a video or if I just needed lighting for work. So I started out with, on the desk itself, I have this nice sturdy mounting pole that I have two ring lights hanging off of. Uh, so these are wonderful. Ring lights are perfect for you know YouTube and selfies, but they're also great for lighting a, a workspace because they put out a lot of light in a lot of area. So having two of these makes it very easy for me to see what I'm doing. Also, most of these come with a little mount with for a camera or GoPro or anything else like that. So we can very easily uh, pop them into there and just record on the go. Another great feature of the Pyro Desk is the integrated smoke extractor. So this particular one was made for soldering, but it works for wood burning as well. Uh, I have a activated charcoal filter in it and also a HEPA filter in it. So it takes out a lot of those particles. And the one thing that I absolutely had to have in here was an integrated burner and pen storage as well. So this is my burner right here. This is my Colwood Super Pro 2. Absolutely love this thing. It's my main burner. I have it built right into the workstation. Up here in the corner, I do have storage for six different pens. So whatever I'm working on at that particular moment, I can make sure I have the right pens right at hand. Also right here, for the two pens that I am currently using and have plugged into the wires, so they're always handy. Now if we go over here to the middle, this is where my pen storage is, and I'll move my coffee out of the way, but you can see here the shelf in the middle of the console is made out of cherry wood, and then I have these nice little strips in here that I have all the pens mounted on. I have space for razor tip, uh, for coal wood fixed pens, and then also for the coal wood replaceable tips. All right, so the most important feature on the pyro desk was the spinner. Now, if you're anything like me, you're turning the piece constantly. And so I wanted a very easy way to turn the piece and also not anchor down the piece itself. I have this nice spinner with a non-slip pad on the back. You just put the piece on there and it turns with one finger. If maybe I wanna concentrate on this area right here, well, I can center that on it and then turn it that way. So it's, it's very simple, very easy, and makes my work go a lot quicker. And of course, the most important feature is to be able to do this next to my business partner and wife, Jody. What I built here for me, I also had to build another one for her over here. There is one small difference though. Uh, you can see the spinner is a little bit lower than on mine. She usually works on smaller pieces, so it made more sense to have the spinner down a little lower. And on mine, we can have it right in the center so we can work the biggest pieces on my side if needed. 
So that is the pyro desk. This is the setup that we have here in our home and where we do our burning work. I just want to make it very clear that I'm not here to sell this to you. In fact, I'm not making these uh, right now. A at this moment, I'm still going through an experimental phase with the desk, trying to figure out what works, what doesn't, and so it's still being refined. This is nothing that you can jump on my website and order one right now because it it's just not ready. And so what I wanted to do here was just share the idea uh, show you guys what my dream setup looked like and maybe give you ideas to start thinking what your dream setup looks like. Just a little bit about Dirk and I. We're a married couple from northern Utah. Dirk started burning about three years ago. I started burning a couple of years ago and we started our shoemaker pyro shop business about one year ago. We love sharing ideas and our art and any tips and tricks that we've learned along the way to make it easier for you. So the idea for the pyro desk started to build as soon as I started burning. So I was working on a folding table and then an easel on top of it. It didn't work well, but it worked okay. And I immediately started putting together thoughts of what do I want my desk to look like? So all of those thoughts put together for nine months turned into this. Thank you for watching our video on the pyro desk. We would like to do more videos, so let us know in the comments what topics you would like to see. We'd be happy to share any tips, tricks, observations, anything about our workspace. Just let us know.